you're going to have more people, more lights, more noise, more traffic, more impact to Red Rock Canyon. Amidst the picturesque views of Red Rock Canyon, atop Blue Mountain Hill are the spoils of 80 years of mining graded land and demolished mountaintops. Longtime developer Jim Rhodes wants to transform the leveled areas into a community with homes and businesses, even a town center. A Rhodes representative, the project's urban planner, Ron Crater, explains. The existing zoning only allows for residential. We think great communities, and particularly a sustainable human community, relies on a variety of land uses, not just residential. And that's a problem for Heather Fisher, the president of Save Red Rock. Fisher says her organization is not opposed to developers building homes in the approved area, it's that they want too many. Plus, by bringing in commercial businesses, Fisher believes they will sacrifice the rural feel of the greater Red Rock area. Do you want to come out here and see a city, or do you want to come out here and get away from the city? But Crater says they will develop a sustainable green community that will create jobs and bring in revenue for the county. He says they will install low-light fixtures that won't drastically affect the dark night sky of Red Rock. Fisher doesn't believe that's enough. Well, if you put a blight on top of a mountain, I don't know how you can't see it. 45,000 cars going up and down the mountain, that's a lot of light. That's 90,000 headlights and that, there goes your dark skies. Developers will meet with community members next week. They'll take that feedback and include it in their final plan, which they will present to the county commission at a later date. On Blue Diamond Hill, I'm Marissa Mike for News 3.